Hey guys, Ollie here. Hey, um, been quite quiet for the last six or nine months. Um, still been diving, um, just been a bit lazy. So uh, yeah, middle of winter, shit weather right now, pissing down with rain. So just gonna chuck a whole lot of footage together um, all over the North Island from Coromandel up to the far north, um, around Auckland, but out on the west coast. Um, yeah, a few bits and pieces. Um, I'll throw in a few tips and tricks hopefully and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Righto, first up we'll start on the Coromandel coastline. This is on the upper northeast coast of New Zealand. Uh, the best dive in to be had on the Coromandel is on the east coast. Um, this is due to clearer water conditions, um, deeper water nearby, so more fish life and yeah, just all around better diving. Okay. Well, we're out in the water. It's 8 past 7. Uh, this morning I had really bad sinuses, I could barely equalise, um, yeah, had a hard time diving. Luckily I found these kawai milling around in a few metres of water, so plugged one of these big fatties. So with kawai and uh, most pelagics really, it's always best to bleed them straight away if possible. Um, that will improve the meat quality um, greatly. After having a really, really tough morning with the sinuses, um, unable to equalise, I um, set one last burley for the day um, in a few metres of water, <laughs> the deepest I could dive, and yeah, literally the last hour of the day I came across this monster. This fish may look really stupid, but um, it's all about putting yourself in the right place at the right time. I had the early morning sun directly behind me, so I believe he was blinded a bit. Um, or maybe he was blinded. Anyways, great fish, and uh, stoked to get that first snapper over the 20 pound mark. Quite an ugly looking fish, obviously uh, had some trauma or damage to its head earlier in life, uh, possibly a cray pot or yeah, who knows. Yeah, tough old fish as well, considering the shark went right through its head, um, but as soon as it was in my hands, it was uh, game over. Uh, yeah, this is a separate dive. 
Yeah, found this really fishy spot loaded with demisales and blue mau mau and whatnot. Um, usually, if you find fishy spots like this, there's some good snapper nearby or, or kingfish. Um, obviously, a lot of food around. So, dove down and hung out in the school for a while and just chilled out really. Um, nothing came in, but uh, all good, just hanging out with the fish. Found this uh, snipper parked up over this ledge, so knocked him over. Surgery conditions were making it really hard to place a shot, but managed to push out and, and get the shaft in him. Yeah, I found this bit of coastline earlier in the year, um, absolutely loaded with crayfish. Um, Notice the, the shedded shells lying around, it's always a good sign um, that there's some crayfish nearby. Yeah, we ended up gathering quite a few and um, had quite the feast that night. Yeah, bit of a tip, if you start finding those um, shedded cray shells, you're in a good area and most likely will um, bump into some crays soon enough. Um, and for those of you that are really wanting to get into some crayfish, lobster, um, Winter's a really good time, just have to brave some cold water, get a get a thick suit and um, get in there. They'll often be up in the shallows, um, molting or, or breeding. You'll find the females um, full of eggs under the tail or um, often grazed in soft shells, so leave both of those alone, but the rest are fair game. Yeah, Robbo here with a <coughs> poor choice in the crane, but small, had to go back. Um, yeah, plenty of craze around, not all very big, but we found a few, few good sized and um, always make sure to leave the big buck in there, he'll get that rest providing for our future dives. Yeah, just cruising back in the shallows and uh, found this old spear gun, someone, someone had an unlucky day with a kingy or, or a like. Yeah, it looked like it had been here a long time, um, not doing any harm to fish, so back it went. Here we are, on our way out to the famous Channel Island. Um, about as good as it gets with the weather. Absolute glass over, and the island was teeming with life. Yeah, as soon as we anchored up, um, on the sheltered side of the island, these dolphins just started busting up the water and put on quite a show. Always awesome to see. Yeah, it was incredible. Um, the whole surface around the island was just moving constantly the whole day. Bait fish feeding on the surface, getting um, cornered up by the dolphins. The dolphins were having a feeding frenzy. It was just an absolute frenzy the whole day. Underwater was the same, just literally thousands and thousands of Kohuru, Kahawai, um, Trevally, you name it, it was there and um, exciting stuff. However, there weren't many kingfish around, we saw a few pairs of two and three, um, but yeah, finally got onto them. Yeah, the concentration of bait fish at times was just so thick, it was literally just a constant wall around you, all the way around the island, and yeah, you'd, you'd almost get a headache, it was crazy. Can't complain though. Yeah, before long, Blondie had um, put a shaft into his first kingfish, had caught many on the rod, but this was his first on the spear, and um, yeah, absolutely skull dragged it up to the surface, <laughs> took care of it pretty fast, which is it's always good.
Yeah, Channel Island is quite notorious for being a sharky spot, um, as well as a lot of the North Island of New Zealand in summer. Um, bronze whalers are quite prolific in some areas, so um, yeah, it pays to try and get that fish up as soon as you can. As you can see, Blondie's pretty stoked with his first king, as uh, most people are. Knocked a few other fish over, including this 25 kilo king. Didn't catch him on video, unfortunately. Uh, next up is some footage from the Hen and Chicken Islands, just south of Whangarei. Uh, went out with Blair and Hugh. We had some really awesome conditions with clear, clear blue water, which is often the case in summer. Um, wasn't super fishy, but um, as you'll soon see, there was plenty of keen fish around. First up though was a porai, uh, not so common around the Coromandel or you know, south of, south of uh, Auckland so yeah, needed to be added to my list and this fish really uh, wanted to be added as you can see. After nailing this poor eye, a crayfish and um, the other guys getting a few johnnies, we decided to move to the other side of the island and um, yeah, started to get onto some kingfish. <laughs> Yeah, we've seen a, a nice decent work up on the surface, so I thought yeah, it's worth a jump in to see if there's a few kingfish underneath. Um, yeah, little did we know, there was literally hundreds of them. Um, yeah, such an awesome experience diving in a vortex of big kingfish. Here's Hugh just enjoying the moment and uh, doing a bit of filming. There's only so many kingfish you can shoot. After admiring uh, the school for a while, it was uh, time to put a few shafts and some kingfish. Um, hard to choose which one to take in a big school like this, but um, yeah, this one looked okay. Yeah, love, uh, love fighting kingies on the reel. You can hear it screaming here, um, but yeah, if they get over that 20 25 kilo mark, um, yeah, you often need a second shot. Um, another mate to back you up. Here I thought Hugh was going to chuck another shaft in my fish, but um, he was off to get one for himself and got a bit tangled up. Wow. 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 
Do yourself a favour and get your fish out there. It makes cleaning up and filleting later on just so much easier. Yep, the next footage uh, to follow is from the far north of New Zealand. Yeah, cruised up to 90 Mile Beach to a mate's batch and um, we've got the IRB jet ski all ready to go. Mission's on. Yeah, conditions weren't the greatest and it was kind of looking to get worse so we thought we'd make the most of it on the way out stopping in at the uh, one of the channel markers see if there were any kingies around The yeah, air current was pushing real hard, um, a bit more than anticipated. The um, air yeah, current's a good thing, but by the time I'd loaded my gun, I was already past the um, channel marker, so yeah. Anyways, um, stuck around for a while, but no signs of Kingy, so moved on. <laughs> So no luck with the kingies on the on the marker, so I moved on to a few bug spots, um, picked out a few and then yeah, carried on to the Elder Islands. Poor bastards had nowhere to go here, easy pickings. Yeah the water was terrible, really green when we jumped in um, further out. Um, but anyways, finally found some fishy areas, heaps of uh, demoiselles, uh, bait fish, and a uh, future valley mix in between. Chased them around for a while and then uh, managed to knock a few over. So the goal was to get my partner and Victoria onto her first fish. Um, got the little Scorpia Rob Allen 750, um, twin 16s, little beast. Um, yeah, and it wasn't for long before she knocked over her first fish. Yeah, her True Valley looked uh, a lot like a blue Mau Mau, um, but yeah, great fish, good fish to start on. Yeah, blue Mau Mau's great eating, great as sashimi, so we cooked that up later with the future valleys, beautiful. Um, better than most NZ Sparrow's first fish, which is uh, probably the red Moki, which is uh, a bit frowned upon. So yeah, after that we managed to knock over a few more fish, um, a nice kingi, um, grandaddy hapuka or scorpion fish some people call them, um, a few other bits and pieces. Um, then nearing the boat ramp we saw these dolphins uh, busting up some bait, bait fish. So. 
Yeah, jumped in with him and uh, had a bit of a swim around. Awesome stuff. So yeah, this went on for about 10 minutes, um, yeah, awesome time, it's always good fun diving with dolphins. <coughs> yeah, if you're up near Kai Tire at all, um, make sure you stop into the Waipapakori Tavern, they've got cold beer, Pool tables and massive burgers. Always a good stop in on the, on the way home. Yeah, these burgers are seriously big. Yeah, it's pretty hard to keep your mouth open. Yeah, so after that, grabbed a quick feed of tour tours off the beach and a bit of a photo shoot. Not a bad day. Hey, cheers for watching, hope you enjoyed that. Um, please give the video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, also leave a comment um, if you've got any ideas for future content that you'd like to see um, and I'll see what I can do. Uh, for example, hunting techniques, um, certain species, equipment guide, um, catch and cook, you name it, um, let me know. I know there's already a lot of uh, similar content out there but it's always, um, it's always good to see other people's perspectives um, on spearfishing and hunting, um, but that goes for yeah, everything else in life. Um, yeah, no one's got the perfect technique or, or, or knowledge on, the, on spearfishing or anything, you know, always um, improving and growing. So um, yeah, cheers for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and um, we'll see you next time, or out there uh, slaying some fish. Cheers.